Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see watermelon question uh, from Port Chef September lunch time. Let's see the question. In the question, it is said that let's call up sequence gold. If the sum of all its element is zero, you have a sequence of integer a1 to so like a n. We have a sequence from a1 uh, for suppose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we want to make it sum zero. If its sum is if its initial sum is fifteen or sixteen, then we want to make its initial make its sum uh, equals to zero. So, and what operation we can perform? In one operation, you should choose a valid index i and decrease a i by i. And here i is the index of that element index of that element in the present in the sequence. For example, if there is a sequence uh, like given in this question. Uh, one two, or we can take a better example. If there is a sequence one two three four five, and we they its sum is fifteen, and we want to decrease, uh, bring its sum back to the zero, then the, we can perform the operation like we can decrease the i th element. For example, the fifth element, which is five, we can decrease it by i. And what will be i? Here? I it will not start from zero. It will start from one. So I will be five for the fifth element, one for the first element. So we can decrease it by five if we want to decrease the fifth element, or by one if we want to decrease it by uh, uh, if we want to decrease the first element. So and we can perform this operation any number of time. We can we, here it is written that you may perform any number of operation in this. So there is no restriction that we have to perform k operation or. Uh, uh, or a, any number of particular number of operation. So this was all about the explanation of the question. This basically the simple question, a cake walk question, in which the you only want to observe. So let's uh, the better is to if we take the uh, shorter subtask. If we take the first subtask, then it will become more clear to us. Here the first subtask is when n is equal to one. So what will be the sum if n is equal to one? How can we bring it back to the zero if n is equal to one? Suppose if n is equal to five. Uh, sorry, if the sequence is the present a i, this is a zero element is equal to five, then can it be bring back to the zero? Yes, the index of the element is one. So if we decrease it again and again by one, because there is no restriction on the number of operation if, that we are performing. So if we decrease it again and again by one, then at, uh, after performing this operation five times, we can perform the uh, we can get the this number uh, zero. We can get get this uh, sum as the zero. As there only one element, then there is no need to check other elements. So. But at, uh, so for which cases, for which case the, the the sum will not become zero? If the case if the case arises, that is the uh, the element which is given is already negative. If n is equal to one and the the element which is given to for to us it's already negative. So suppose if we have given minus one and we can only decrease, we cannot increase it. We cannot increase it. We can only decrease the uh, decrease it. So decrease it by the the number by the index number. An index number is one. So we will keep on decreasing minus one, minus one. It will become minus two. Then minus two, minus one. It will become again minus three. So it can never become zero. It will go uh, decreasing. It will be like a decreasing path, but it can never become zero. So what can we observe from all this? If n let's if n is equal to two, and if there is a uh, suppose first element is five and the second element is seven, then we can decrease five by one. We can decrease five by one because its index is one. We can decrease seven by two because it is uh, uh, its index is two. And we can perform this operation any number of time. So if we decrease, keep on decreasing five. And initial sum. What is the initial sum? Five plus seven is equal to twelve. So we want to bring back its sum to zero. Uh, we want to decrease in some uh, some time uh, is such that that its sum becomes zero. So if we decrease five by one again and again, five minus one it will become four. Then four minus one it will become three. Then uh, three minus one it will become two. Like this it will become after five operation it will become zero. And like this it after this seven when it will become zero then the uh, zero plus seven will result as seven. So now we want to decrease only seven. Now we will keep on decreasing seven by two because its index is two. So seven minus two is equal to five. Now five minus two is equal to three. 
so like this we will keep on decreasing it and it will also initially become zero so what we can observe from all this if we write down on the paper and we can observe that if the initial sum is greater than or equal to zero then what the observation is that if the initial sum which are that is initial sum that is the sequence given to us that is for example we have been given sequence as 1 2 3 4 5 and now we want to make its initial sum its initial sum is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15 so we want to make this 15 as 0 we will decrease 1 by 1 time it will become 0 we will decrease 2 by 2 time it will become 0 we will decrease 3 by 3 time it will become 0 like this all this this becomes 0 and we will get the sum as 0 so we can observe that if initial sum is greater than or equal to 0 if it is given as 0 only then there is no need to convert there is no need to perform any operation so if the initial sum is greater than or equal to 0 then we can we will we can always get the sum as 0 because we can always decrease it and bring back to if we keep on decreasing it only by one we can if if the sequence is suppose 1, 2,000, 200 or 2,000 or anything, but we keep on decreasing it by 1, 1, 1, it will be initially, it will be it will become 0 because we can perform any number of operations. So, the main observation which we can make from this these examples is that if the sum is the if the initial sum is greater than or equal to 0, then we can, uh, we can print our answer as yes. And if it is not, uh, if the initial sum is less than zero, then it can never become positive. Then it can, for example, if I show you that if we have minus two, minus five, uh, seven, and minus three, now we can decrease my now initial sum. What is the initial sum? Initial sum is minus three. If we keep on decreasing seven by three, if we keep on decreasing seven by three, then initially seven will become zero. Initially, 7 will uh, not become 0, sorry. 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. Then 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Then we will, if we are able to make this 7, 0, then minus 2 minus 1 is equal to, again, it will, it will keep on decreasing. It will keep on becoming negative, but it will never become 0. The sum of all these sequence will never become 0 because it's already negative. So it can only decrease. It cannot increase. So that's why we can say that that if initial sum is not equal to, not greater than or equal to zero, then we can never get the sum, uh, we can never get uh, the sum equal to zero. The, as much as operation we perform, we will never get the sum is equal to zero. Let's see the code. There is a code that if we, uh, is the simple code that we are taking the input and at the same time we are taking the sum and we are getting the initial sum and as I have said, if sum is greater than or equal to zero, we will print yes or else if it is not greater than zero, then we will print no. Thank you for watching.